vegan cookies, um, homemade vegan cookies. Well, yeah, vegan or vegan. Um, so we're making them for Christmas. So yeah, let's just get started. Yep. The things you'll need: a large mixing bowl, um, mixer, and mixer. Um, some okay. you need flour. You need two and one fourth cups of wait, twenty-one. Two and one fourth cups of flour. flour. Um, one teaspoon of baking soda. I still to get that out. Um, one teaspoon teaspoon of salt. One cup two sticks butter. Need to soften that. Three fourths cup cups of um something. Three what? Uh, granulated sugar. Granulated sugar. Um, three fourths cup pack, packed brown sugar. One te teaspoon vanilla extract. Two large eggs. We're using. Um, don't. We're using. Sub for eggs. Um, oh, we screwed up the egg too well. Two cups. Two cups of chocolate. One and if wanted, one cup chopped nuts. You know. Oops. <laughs> uh, yeah. So in order to make this vegan, we're gonna use the Earth Balance soy-free uh, vegan butter and flaxseed egg. So we'll get started with making a flaxseed egg. So what what you need to do for flax seeds? Um, we well, need flax seeds. And then, um, you need a, was it nine? It's one tablespoon of flaxseed for three tablespoons of water equals one egg. And then, so we already made up one okay. here, and we should make up another one. I thought we were only going to need one. So you want to go ahead and measure out yeah. one, dope it in that cup. Need three. Yeah, three tablespoons of water. Let's scrape that out. So one of these. One of those. Hold on, let me, let me do this real quick. Try to get all the eggy goodness out of here. Alright, so dump that in there. Ew, it feels weird. Yeah, and then you just do three tablespoons of water in here also. Oh, and we'll need this to grab from right here. We should have made both of these at the same time, but I didn't realize that we needed two. And maybe I should take off my favorite. And you just grind it up. Now? See, it kind of turns a little foggy white. So, the first thing you want to put in your bowl is baking soda. Well, actually, yeah, that's fine. We can use that. Well, no, actually, Booba, we want to use a different bowl, remember, because we got to mix up the white stuff together first. And then, so we save this for later. Where is the, um, we need the white, the big mixing bowl in the dishwasher. Freshly cleaned. Perfect. All right, so go ahead and hop right in. Baking soda. Two, we need uh, baking soda. We need one teaspoon of baking soda. Baking soda. Alex, do you want to um, go ahead and grab the measuring cup out of there too? So it just calls for the two and a quarter cups of all. Oh, by the way, you preheat your oven to 375 degrees. That way uh, it's nice and warm, ready to go for you. All purpose flour. Basically, it's very simple. You just mix all of the white ingredients together in a mixing bowl. And then all of the other ingredients together goes into the beater. So, baking, baking powder. Is that a teaspoon? One, one teaspoon. Go ahead, dump it in there. Uh, okay. Yeah, it's not an exact science. A little bit more. Just a little bit more. Just a little. There, perfect. Alright, we'll put that back in the fridge. Leave me the teaspoon. We need one teaspoon of salt. One cup. Is that one cup? Mm -hmm. Yeah, we can do one. Yep, perfect. And we need a quarter cup also. 
So a teaspoon of salt, we're just gonna go like that. That's probably enough. You wanna put that away? We're done with that. The next thing you need to do. We're gonna do two and a quarter cups of flour. And again, we're not bakers, right? Not an exact science. One cup. You know, you probably should sift this and all that, but we don't have a sifter, so I'm just gonna go a little light on the second sift. cup. We never sift. And quarter cup. That's a half, okay, yeah, there's a quarter cup built in there. Good job, Alex. So uh, we got some, some of our measuring things. Um, perfect. They have, like this is a half cup, but it, on the inside, it's got a quarter cup measure. All right, so we got that. We got, just sort of mix that up a little bit. Flour, baking soda, salt, and let's see, just make sure. Flour, baking soda, salt, and a small bowl. So you go ahead and take this fork and mix that up real good. All right, so then in the large mixer bowl, which is this bad boy, we add the granulated sugar, the brown sugar, the eggs, and the vanilla. All right, so the granu granulated sugar, we need to have three quarters of a cup of granulated sugar. So we, uh-oh, I don't know if we got enough brown sugar. Probably do. That's about all of the brown sugar. We're going to be a little light on that. So three quarters of a cup of granulated sugar. Who also doesn't like the sound of scratchy corn? No, that's fine. We can use this. Yeah. No, we got it. We use the Zolka Perfect Cane Sugar. So, go ahead, put that down, buddy. So we just do a half cup and then a quarter cup, and then that should get us how many cups? Kids, math, science, math. Oh, wait, what? A half and a quarter. Two? No. Full? Wait, a quarter? A quarter plus a half. How much is a quarter? Oh, 24. Um, Cups. No, one quarter cup plus one half. A quarter of a pizza plus a half of a pizza equals how much pizza? One whole. We're going to guesstimate that that's about three quarters of a cup of packed brown sugar right there. I think it might be a little light, but we'll call it that. You dump it all in. Yeah. Dump it all in. Go ahead and throw that in garbage. Teaspoon of vanilla. Vanilla, vanilla, vanilla. How to make snow? All you need is flour, Perfect. salt, baking soda. Leave that there. Got to put it. You got snow right here. And water. One teaspoon. I like to go a little heavier on the vanilla because it, it tastes good. So that's that for that, and then. We need to add the butter. So it calls for two sticks of butter, which we don't use, one cup. This is 15 ounces. Six, eh. What did we use half of this last time, right? Yeah. So half of this will work. Add it. You gotta get a knife out of here, buddy. Like this knife? No, just a butter knife. There we go. Half, cut it in half. Okay. That's not half, but here, let me. Okay. Let's close this. It's hard. Just measure about half, way across, and then we scoop it out. In. Yep. Alright, so this is in there. This you can put back in the refrigerator. Put it back in the refrigerator, thank you. And this goes in here and goes on low. And you just beat it for a little bit. You forgot me. Not yet. First we beat this, then we add our egg substitute, then we add our white powder stuff, yeah? So 
What? Mm -hmm. Hey, Becca Bell, you want to get out some aluminum foil? Yeah. Some aluminum foil? Mm -hmm. Actually, go ahead and you grab that, Alex. Mm -hmm. So this is our egg substitute. We see it sat up pretty well. You want to let it sit for about five minutes or so just to let the flaxseed and the water do its magic. And it's got a consistency of an egg yolk. So, slowly pour that in. Go ahead and set that over there. Do you want to, can you put some aluminum foil on the baking sheets? What did this make up last time, Becca Bell? About four dozen cookies? Yeah. Alright. So, um, you can see this, uh, our, our, take this off for a quick minute. Um. Our batter looks like I batter. Um, it's pretty creamy. And it's ready to go. So, we just dump in our flour mixture while wow, it's running. A little bit at a time. <coughs> this could get messy, so you gotta be careful. That's why I do it not to get. Alright, go ahead and put this in the sink. Go ahead, Becca Bell. Then you add a chocolate. Oh, I'm all bad. You can, actually, that's the good thing about it is that there's no animal product in it, so you can eat that completely raw. It's really good. I ate a lot last time I made. Alright, so, Wait. Becca Bell, if you want to go ahead and... I'm going to try one. It it's really good. We'll move this over here, and then you can set up and put that onto the camera. Well, so, okay, it's enough eating. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and make, uh, put a dozen cookies on this cookie sheet, and then a dozen? we'll come back. So why don't you go ahead and throw a couple on there. So, just a little spoonful, dollop on there. If you do it nice and neat, you can get a dozen cookies on this sheet. We uh, didn't do it that way. So we're going to go with eight cookies on this sheet. But we'll try to fix that for next time. It should be enough for Santa. Yeah. That's all. That's all he needs. <laughs> Alright, so our oven is preheated to 375. And we're just going to go ahead and throw this in for 10 minutes. Kitchen 
timer. Start. And uh, we'll be back. Yeah? Perhaps it's best to use adult supervision for the hot uh, cookies. Yeah. Shut the timer off. As you can see, we've got a couple more cookies left to make, so. If you can't stop here's our batter. batter like me, that means that your cookies are already good. I have a problem, people. Those look really good. So, what do you think? I put too much on there. Yeah, they look good, though. So you're supposed to let them cool for a couple minutes. Um, one good thing about using the aluminum foil, you can take the aluminum foil off the back, and then you set it over here, and you're set up to go again. So, no, they're done. Well, you also have to put them in the fridge. Here. Once you let them cool, then you have to, you can take them, and then you have to put them in the fridge. So oh yeah, it definitely needs to harden up a little bit. Let's just grab a uh, cookie and a fork here. Perfect. These are Santa cookies. So chocolatey and gooey. Oh, look at them. Oh, hot. Can I try? It's falling apart. Probably want to let it cool down first, buddy. Okay. Gotta let it cool down. They're good, but really hot. Very hot. All right. So, here you go, Alex. Try that piece. It's hot. Very hot. It's so hot. It's really hot. All right, so, as you can see, chocolate chip cookies are a success. You can make them vegan. You can make them delicious. You can make them fattening because they're still not healthy. But they are uh, plant-based, so... That's it for us today. Hope you enjoyed the video. Say bye, kids. Bye. Bye, kids.